Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. Here we are in Disneyland in Anaheim, California. I have one question for you. What? Do you like Mexican food? I love Mexican food. I went high voice for a second. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Mexican food also. The question is, can we find good Mexican food here in Disneyland? Yep, that sounds good, baby. We're in search of some good Mexican food. Now, we don't know how authentic it's going to be because right. we visited some places that are really authentic. Sure. But we'll check it out and we'll give you our review. Okay, let's, let's do it. We found our first place. We did. Where is it? Rancho de Zocalo. It is in Frontierland. We're gonna catch some really good Mexican grub. We're hoping it'll be good Mexican grub. Yeah, I'll, I saw a lot of great reviews on this place. Yeah, right? yeah, baby. Yeah, so uh, I don't think I've ever had a meal here. I don't think he has. Yeah. So it'll be a first for him. I'm excited. Here yeah, we go. Let's go. tacos which I have a chicken one a cauliflower one and a beef one I'm really interested in this cauliflower one and I got a strawberry agave basil agua fresca oh that's interesting this looks actually really refreshing this is a large they have a large and a smaller portion this is a large one but it looks so refreshing I have to get the big one very Very strawberry, very good strawberry. A hint of sweetness. That basil really comes out through this one. As you can see, it's really thick. It's not clear at all. It's delicious. This is a very refreshing drink. I recommend this one. This meal consists of three street tacos, rice, and beans. I'm gonna hit it up with some fresh lime, all three of them. And let me go try I wanna really try this cauliflower one. Now the cauliflower one they sell just by three cauliflowers. But the yes. other ones, they only sell in the trio, the chicken and the beef. Yeah, so it's so, a good uh, meatless option in yeah. case you want it. You can see there's the cauliflower in there. It looks nicely charred. Great taste of cauliflower. These are pretty spicy. So even you can taste that cauliflower even though the spice hits you. That's good amount of cauliflower too so you see all that cauliflower then they put that spice that salsa and the onions on top of it now you don't have to get with the onions or the um the uh cilantro i can't think of the name you don't have to get the onions and cilantro on top because they make it to order so i think that spice has to be coming from that little salsa all the salsas on all three I'm pretty sure you can get this salsa on the side if you're not a spicy person. Yeah, the spice is coming from the salsa. I'm gonna try the other two tacos now. This is the beef taco. Good. The beefy flavor. I like the beef that it's it's chopped. As opposed to like a, a ground beef or anything like that. I wish the beef was, a, I wish the taco or even the beef was a little bit more warm. Is it like carne asada it's, or what? Mm. It's a good beef. It doesn't have like a big carne asada or pastor flavor to it. It's good. This is definitely different than the ones you would get down in Mexico. As in the beef taco. Let's try this chicken out. But they're good still. This is the chicken taco. As you can see, these all of these tacos are really packed with meat. Yeah, two tortillas too. You have the texture of the chicken, but you really don't taste the chicken because that salsa kind of overwhelms the flavor. Chicken, chicken. It's very lightly, lightly seasoned. It is a, a good taco, but I remember in Mexico the, the tacos 
are, the, especially the chicken, are a bit more flavorful than this. So, for resort tacos, they're delicious. I got the chicken tostada. If actually, we're gonna share both of them. So you have a choice between chicken or beef. And after you reviewed the beef, I'm, I'm glad I got the chicken. It sounds like the chicken might be a little bit better than the beef. We'll see. But it does come with some pico de gallo, uh, sour cream, guacamole, and some Mexican cheese in a crispy flour tortilla shell. And for drink, trying the horchata cold brew. Now did, they did ask if you want whipped cream on top and we said no, but they did put a little cinnamon on top as you can see. So we're gonna go for the stir here. Gonna mix this all up. Oh, look at the color just changed. Look at that. It looks pretty good now. Now it looks like a cold brew. So let's try this out and see how it is. It reminds me of Christmas. I, I don't know why. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon, maybe? But the, the horchata flavor, which is the, what is it, rice or something? Mm -hmm. It's a rice drink. Sweet, it's a rice usually drink. a sweet rice drink. Yes, it is slightly sweet, not overly sweet. Cinnamon, coffee, rice. That's it. This is a delicious cold drink. Uh, refreshing. Nice and sunny out here today, so perfect. Oh yeah. Gonna give this tostada a try now. Here we go. Gonna crack off a little bit of the shell. Whoa! That's a good one. Yeah, very crispy. And mix this up just a little bit. Oh, you got some uh, lettuce down here. There's the sour cream, there's the guacamole. Yes, and like you mentioned, they do build everything to order. So if you don't want any one ingredient, you can just tell them to leave it out and they will. So let's try this out. A little bit of everything right here. Put it on the, well, a lot of it kind of fell off. There we go, good looking bite. This is very good. It has a touch of lime in it. I, I didn't squirt any lime juice on top, so it must naturally have some, some lime lemon spice on it. Not overwhelming at all. The flavors of the chicken is there, unlike your tacos where it kind of got lost with the salsa. You could definitely taste the chicken. Of course, everything else with the Mexican cheese, uh, pico de gallo, of course, my favorite guacamole and some uh, sour cream. Just go for it like this. Have a bite. Oh yeah. This is very good. Great chicken tostada salad. Let's taste this rice here. Mm. Very good flavorful rice. And the beans. Mmm. They're nicely mashed and very creamy. But of course, you know when you eat rice and beans, you gotta do that little mixture, just like this. The rice and the beans are very good. I can imagine these rice and beans like in a really good burrito. And the rice, the beans are very creamy. The rice is really good, not salty at all. I've tasted some three five beans are a little bit salty. This is really good finally done in fact uh, they have a burrito here i'm sure that they put that in this is um pretty good this is really good especially for a resort mm -hmm. as bill was going deeper and deeper into this salad you I, can was, see, I was going deep babe. yeah going deep babe you got the rice and the beans also in this salad so i'm gonna go ahead and break off my piece right here Perfect spoon. The way you do, it's like that. Oop. Oh. I got it. Like that. Nope. Here's a bite. Right here. Yeah. Doesn't that look delicious? And there is a hint of that lime in there, but what's interesting, I have the hint of that lime, but I don't have that, that like tartness of the lime. I'm not sure. It's like a, maybe like a, some sort of maybe lime salt or lime flavoring. I've got that practice of the lime. 
This is absolutely delicious. And it's big, so you, it's very filling, especially with that rice and beans in there as well. And with your protein. You can get this also without a protein as well. Uh, just for mm. comparison's sake, for some people can relate, how's it compared to like a, a pollo loco uh, chicken salad? Mm -hmm. Oh, we love the apollo loco chicken salad. This salad, I actually like it better than the apollo loco. Just because of that really good lime taste and you have all the ingredients that you need in the salad. This is a really good salad. A little review of uh, Zocala. That was Zocolo. Zocolo. That was very good. The food was really good. Yeah. Um, very good LA food. Um, not like a street taco or anything like that, but what I had at least. Yeah, my favorite was the uh, the chicken tostada yeah. salad. That was that really one, good. If you've eaten a, 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 a Puyo Loco chicken tostada salad, it's better than that. The yeah, food. right. It is, it so is. we did get our drinks to go. Yeah. And now we're on the hunt for our second E. Yeah, we are. Let's go find it. Hopefully we can find yeah. it. Oh, I love drinking this uh, with uh, tacos in Mexico, yeah. right? Yeah, we're gonna, we found our next place. Let's see what we get. They have little to grab and go things here, which is really cool. They have the cuties, they have your watermelon, they have your pineapple, they even have your mango, and it has tahini in there. Yeah, oh. yeah. And down, they even have spicy pickles, babe. Oh, they do. Spicy. Right there. There's only two places to get them here at Disneyland. One is right outside of Big Thunder. The other one is right outside the Matterhorn. So this is the chimichanga. As you can see, oh, it has a crispy exterior. And I'm gonna go ahead and break this open. It is hot. It's pretty good size. Yeah, huh? it's a good size. It looks like a regular beef burrito. It's a uh, what bean and uh, mystery meat, right? It looks like it. I haven't had this in years, and so we'll find out and see what it is. Everybody loves a mystery meat burrito. Yeah. Well, I thought she was gonna try it first, but then uh, this is my turn. Here we go. Mm. Very tasty and bean. We do have some of the. Light ground beef flavor to it, but mostly refried bean taste. I like it. It's simply a, a flour tortilla that's deep fried. So you have that little crunchiness from the outside tortilla. And it just, that's it. it there's no cheese, it's just bean and meat. Kind of reminiscent of, um, I guess, a 7 Eleven kind of burrito that you just get, but this is not crispy, you know, this, this one is. I think for its price point, you can beat it. It's it's affordable, grab and go, you walk around with your chimichanga and your drink, and it'll help get that craving if you're if you're hungry for a burrito, uh, so you get ready for the next meal or something. But yeah, I think it's a good deal. Cheers. Do you know the El Monterey, the little frozen burritos? Little small pack comes like in a little 10 pack, really inexpensive. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like them. I we call those the mystery meat burritos. I love those burritos. I usually bring one of them for my lunch or something when I go to work. This is what exactly it tastes like. It is delicious. No spice at all, but they have spice packets over there. They have, I think, lava toya salsa if you wanted some. Oh, at um, at the restaurant, where we were just that. What was the first one called? They had the Rancho um, Socolo. Yeah, they had tapatio packets. Mm -hmm. So that might be a pro tip, is get yeah. some packets from there. And then bring them over here. For your burrito, right. Mm -hmm. So, and these are really good. Yeah, definitely. They're only six ninety nine. So for the price point, for a little snack in between, it's definitely shareable. I'd do it. Again. Dinner or water. 
It tastes exactly like Sprite without the sweet. That's what this exactly tastes like. Yeah, because you know a lot of yeah. people may have seen this in stores, but they don't mm -hmm. not sure what with it tastes like. Right. So this is a Sprite without any sweetness to it. And what was also interesting here, we didn't get it, but they had the corn on the cob. They have a regular butter corn on the cob and a chili lime corn on the cob. That sounds delicious, but we have other food to eat, so not on this food. Yeah, unless it was like the Mexican street corn, then we yeah. would have tried it. We had to get it. Yes, uh, this classifies as Mexican dessert, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, uh, sometimes they come filled, right? But this is just a plain one. Plain classic throw. Nothing like it. Mm -hmm. Very crispy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not just with your cold blue left, baby. <laughs> well, perfectly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pro tip. Get the uh, horchata cold brew and a regular churro. Perfect. Now, in search for more Mexican food. Yes. We just walked by where we got the chimichangas and they're mm -hmm. sold out. They're sold out chimichangas for right now. I'm pretty wow. sure they'll bring some back though. Yeah, but you could also get your turkey legs there too. Yeah, you can. Babe. Yep. <laughs> Mama bird. You're the mama, bro. <laughs> I'm the baby, bro. Crazy. Looking this way. <laughs> We've come to Galaxy's Edge. Yes, and it, and I know there's nothing but to deal with Mexican food, but when you walk into this land, it's always so breathtaking because it really feels like you're really in the movie. Now, hold on now. Yeah. I, I think they have tacos here. What? I think. Really? I'm not sure. So we're gonna have to take a look at one of the restaurants in here and see. Oh, look. Yeah. Our mistake, no tacos here. What got confused yeah. is their wraps. The Ronto wrap and the Ronto less wrap. One with vegetarian, one with um, pork. Yes, um, they, they look like big tacos though. Yeah. Kind of. But they're not. <laughs> so let's move on. I'll give you a shot. Right here looks kinda weird. It's, it's windy. the wind. That about wraps up all the Mexican food options here in Disneyland. It is. So not too much. No, not too much. So we're going to hover in DCA. I know there's two places that we really want to hit up in DCA. Let's see if we can find any more, Hubby. Did you say hover over? I, no, we're going to head over. Oh, I thought you said we're going to hover. hover. Like. Yeah, let's go hover, babe. <laughs> with our theme over here in award-winning winners they do have that bacon street dog you know the ones that you see in the carts and they have the peppers the green peppers and stuff like that they have that here and they do have a sada fries that sounds really filling so we're gonna skip it at this time but we're gonna go see a show the her magic featuring coco it's your favorite movie it's one of my favorite movies it's a 3d show so i'm gonna try to put my uh, phone camera through these glasses and see if it could come out so you guys can see a little bit of it. Where's next? Cocina Cucamanga in the wharf area. Check out this. They have Bidia tacos here. Nice and crunchy. Bidia is the one that traditionally is supposed to be uh, what, lamb. Yeah. yeah, right. But uh, over here it's, it's beef and they give you your dipping sauce. And you're gonna, yes, the consomme. You're going to dip the tacos inside the consomme. And for drink wise, we got the Michelada. What flavor is this? A citrus Michelada. Citrus with, with uh, Modelo. Modelo beer. So, uh, I'll go see pros. Salud. <laughs> Salud.
Tahin, very tart, very um, salty. <laughs> the beer itself, I like it. I'm a fan of Modelo. We're just trying to both learn uh, to like uh, Michelettas. We're learning. We had some at Dodger Stadium. We liked it. This is good too. But uh, be careful about the, the tahini on the uh, on the rim. Very salty. It's making my mouth water. <laughs> yeah, try this one. We were gonna go try one more place because that place had five different types of micheladas here at DCA or Disney's California Adventure. But we decided this is probably gonna be our last spot since I got the michelada here. Again, this is a citrus michelada, house-made michelada mix with the modelo. Mm -hmm. It is very salty. I'm used to this flavor, so it is delicious. It has that kick to it. This is a good michelada. Yes, uh, they also had peach margaritas here. Well, they do, seasonal. But we just went for this instead. We did. Here we go, looks really good. Hit it up with a little bit of lime. Oh, right there. And the dip. Here we go, look at that. How's it look? Looks, looks good. good. Yeah, why not? Kind of dorado, huh? Because the shells are crispy, yes. not soft. Mm -hmm. Here we go. It does have some cheese in it, I believe, like very thin, not sure what's up, kind of white Mexican cheese. The beef flavor is very good. I like it. Nice and crunchy. The consomme is not too spicy or anything like that. It just has a rich, nice beef broth flavor to it. I'm a fan. It, uh, who knew they had they had media here in the in Disney, right? How is it compared to some of our LA places, babe? That's a great question. Our favorite in probably all of LA is Teddy Red's Tacos. It's hard to beat Teddy's Red because that's all they do and they're experts at it. So, no, it is not as good as Teddy's, but for the park here, did you want some media? This is it. This is excellent. I like it a lot. I got the pastor tacos, not cocina. They used to have like burritos and, uh, and enchiladas and everything like that. Now they only have tacos. And I believe they call these their street tacos. As you can tell, it's much bigger than the street tacos it's, it's, we got. It's more like a boulevard instead of a street. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's much bigger than the ones at Socolo. Um, it is a corn tortilla. Nice, very pliable, stuffed with meat as you can see in there. They have the pineapple in there. They have the guacamole. They have the cilantro and onions. And look at all that meat. Let's go ahead and take this bite. This taco is a taco and a half, definitely. If you're planning to do a, any type of food tour here, this is a definitely shareable taco. Our meat is good. You can taste the pineapple. The pineapple is, is not just on top of the meat like you would get in a normal street taco. It's mixed in with the meat. So you have that little sweetness in every single bite. It, that pastor portion, it's a little bit on the light side. This is a very, like, this is a very good resort taco. Not quite the LA tacos that we're used to for pastor, because we're used to that little crispiness they have on the pastor. This is a very much more soft meat, but it's a very good resort taco. Rita's has blended margaritas, red sangrias, and everything you would need right here. We are chapped out in Abahaba. Uh, we so are. Not today. That wraps it up for our Mexican food crawl here at Disneyland and DCA. That was really good, baby. It was, it was. Uh, what was your favorite one today? Uh, my favorite probably was the video. The video was really good. I was pleasantly surprised, especially for resort food. Mm -hmm. I thought that was very good. Yeah, I like the uh, the chicken tostada salad and the video. Yeah. Either good. one, you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you're ever at the parks and you're always wondering what to what to eat, you can't go wrong with Mexican food. Mm -hmm. And the classic churro. Classic I mean, churro. It doesn't need a stuffing, it doesn't need 
a cream cheese in it. It doesn't need anything. Just the classic churro. Is yeah, good. the classic will yeah. be here for years to come. Yes, it will be. Right? Uh, you have any shout outs, babe? I do. Uh, Carol, happy birthday. Herb Gray, happy birthday. Ezekiel and Joshua, happy birthday. Bethany and Christian, happy birthday. And Michelle and Aaron Louie, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Willie Hopi, happy retirement. Rona, we saw her at the dress shop. Thank yes. you so much for saying hi to us. And Alexis and Zach, we just saw you right here at the wharf. Have fun on your cruise. Yes, that's and right. And thank you so much for saying hi and all the numerous people that said hi to us. A lot yes. of Vegas. A lot of Vegas and cruise watchers, baby. Oh, yeah. That said hi to us today. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you ever see us around, of course, say, come and say hi. Yep, and I know someone, I think Rona was mentioning that she saw Erin a couple days ago uh, working at Universal. She's, Erin is just as nice as us, so go, be sure to go up and say hi to her. <laughs> She's very nice. Yeah, she is. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, uh, we have a, a big trip planned in a couple of weeks. We do. Uh, one more vlog uh, coming up next. For this week, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So be sure to stay tuned. Uh, yes. Make sure you subscribe and uh, check out where we go. Yeah. So until our fun. next big adventure, we'll catch you guys on the next one.